Welcome back, guys. So the video you're about to watch is me getting my breast augmentation in Miami, everything about it. And I got Botox, face filler, and my lips done. And yeah, you're gonna come on my surgery trip journey. So stay tuned. I'm gonna share everything. I'm very happy um, with everything. So happy. And yeah, let's get started. We're driving to the airport. We're going to the airport. We're on our way to get boobs. Zone 2, we'll get back with you. Nothing on our expected arrival, sir. Right now, just like every bit. So then, relax, put your mask over your nose and mouth, and we'll be on our way shortly. We barely made it. We're gonna tell you when we get off the plane. <laughs> Can we say bye, guys? Hey, guys. So, we didn't really explain what we we're doing. Yeah. But we're back in Miami, and I'm getting surgery again. On a I'm getting Yeah, I'm getting a breast lift and an implant. I'm getting two split surgeries, but this is part one of it. And we were getting a convertible, but Mason we didn't fit. Hold on, I can't talk about it. We were gonna get that convertible. But Mason's car seat didn't fit in it, and it was really squishy. It's too tiny. We're big. We're big car people. So we're now. back in a jeep, and tell, tell them about us at the airport. Oh, uh, we we made it by the skin of our teeth. Like literally, it was gonna take off in like ten minutes later. Yeah, we we went way too late. We were not prepared like we thought we were. But we made it, and we're gonna go get food, and we're gonna meet the doctor. Say so, hey, guys. <laughs> We're finally getting food. It says there's a target like not even a mile away. So we just ate at the Big Pink. And I got a Nutella French toast. And I wish I recorded it, but I didn't because I was hungry. But it was crazy. It was like, hold on. It was like this big. And then the lady looked offended that I didn't eat it all. And she thought we were mad the whole time. But we weren't. We were just still hungry. We were just like eating it up. I guess we should smile more or something. Yeah. Mason, what did you eat? Hi. He had french fries and chicken. And Daddy, what did you eat? I had a Wagyu burger or a Kobe. And um, it was, I mean, they got my burger wrong. But it was still good. And onion rings. The onion rings were fire, though. Yeah. I thought it was good and they were really nice, but I don't think I would want to eat there again. It wasn't, like, spectacular. But yeah. We're going to, um, we're going to Target right now. Because I want to get Pedialyte pineapple juice to, like, be hydrated before my surgery. And we're going to get, what else were we getting? A backpack? Oh, a backpack and swim trunks. Yeah, because Ryan forgot his bathing suit. Um, like an idiot. No. Um, and then... <laughs> and then we're going to go meet the doctor. And I know I, I didn't do it all explaining it. I am going to get my surgery done by Dr. Altman in Miami, Florida. And... So I, I want my boobs to be big. So what happened is he's splitting the surgery in two. So this is gonna be my part one video. Um, tomorrow I'm supposed to be getting surgery. I'm gonna be getting a lift and an implant. And then we're gonna come back in February. So it's like, I think it's like three months. Mm -hmm. And then he's gonna put take the implant out because now my boobs have like I guess time to expand put the size I actually want and then put in the internal bra and I'm getting um 
I think I'm getting gummy bear, right? Isn't this mm -hmm. what we bought? Yeah, I'm, I'll am i tell you guys after we talk to the doctor, but I'm pretty sure I chose gummy bear implants and the Galaflex, which is like an internal bra just for extra support because I do want to go big. Um, but yeah, so that's where we're at right now. Um, yeah. Should I tell them how much it is? For people yeah. want to know? Okay. Um, the first part of my surgery that we're doing tomorrow was $14,000. And then I think the second part in February was, was it six? Mm -hmm. And I think it was $6,000. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have to write, but I'll double check my emails. And receipts and let you guys yeah, know. Yeah, after we see the doctor. Yo. Why should you bring all of them? Because I have to check them. I don't know. Okay, guys. So, I just left seeing Dr. Altman for my pre-op appointment. And I'm going to tell you everything. So, I he knows I want to go big, right? He, he gave me options of what I could do tomorrow. Mm -hmm. The first option he said was he can put in... The implant, I, the implant size I want tomorrow, the big implant, but he couldn't do the lift, so I'd have huge saggy boobs until I go back to get the lift. So obviously I said no to that because I don't want to walk around with huge saggy boobs for three months. So the other option was tomorrow he's gonna do um. To, so what, it's kind of like what I already said though. Tomorrow he's gonna do the lift and put in a, an implant not a big one he said he's gonna try to do as big as he can i think he said like 350 might be the biggest he can do because he needs to do an anchor lift um and then when i come back in february he's gonna put in the actual size i want he said probably like a 600 and then mm -hmm. put in the internal bra then because if he put it in now it could like ruin it or something um and then guess what apparently the lift i'm getting is called an anchor lift so they're gonna cut me like under and then like up and like around my nipple and i can choose if i want to have bigger nipples or smaller nipples any size nipple i want that's pretty cool yeah so i have to think about what kind of, i feel like i want smaller because i think they did get bigger from having mason but yeah i get to pick my nipple size tomorrow this is stressful um Greek. and then so okay so when i saw him he was really nice and I showed him my boobs, they took pictures of my boobs, and that's kind of like the plan for tomorrow is a small implant and a lift for now. And then he also did, they asked me again about the brow thing, cause I told him I just wanted to know how much it was, but I guess they put it that I'm getting it in February. Mm -hmm. And he told me it would be like, well, first of all, he said if I was gonna do it, I would have to take my, I couldn't have hair extensions in. I guess it's like, I don't know, like I'm sanitary or something, or I don't know. But they would just, it's not like up like I thought, it's like this, like to each side that they just like do like that. Oh wow. Um. So I told them like, I'm not sure about it yet. Like I might do it, I might not do it, I don't know yet. We gotta think about it. And then, um, it was like so much stuff. I have so many papers to look at. They gave me like five prescriptions for like pills we have to go get right now and then i have to um shower with the antibacterial soap i can't eat after midnight tonight the surgery she said right now they have me put down for tomorrow at 9 30 in the morning but she said it might be earlier that i have to wait for the coordinator to text she's gonna text me by the end of the day um there's a lot of stuff hold on my brain hurts right now um i have to wear i was a little confused because first she said you have to wear the surgical bra for three weeks and then she said six weeks so i'm not really sure about that um hold on thank you man you want to know something nice that's way better than when i got my bbl she said i can bring like a purse whatever i want because i'm gonna get my own personal room and the surgery hey. 
The surgery is two and a half hours long, and I gonna and I'm gonna be in, in a recovery room for one hour after that, and then they're gonna call you when you're when you're allowed to pick me up. So I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna be there for like three and a half four hours. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and they're gonna call you when you can get me. Um, but it was like so nice in there, like way nicer than like when I got my BBL. Like, oh yeah, I mean the building itself was awesome. Like Beautiful. I, I love my BBL, but like I felt, I don't know, I felt more comfortable in there. And there was like literally only two people in the waiting room. Yeah, there were like fifteen when she went and got her BBL done. Yeah. Um, hold on, let me look at these papers because I don't want to like miss anything else. And I am, I'm getting the gummy bear, the gummy bear implant, and then the Galaflex mesh bra when we come back. Hold on. Oh, so the questions. So I asked him, I said, do I have to get a surgery clearance again for when we come back in three months? Anyone know what he said? Do you know what he said? Yes. He said, no, but you have to get your lab work done. So you do then? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do. Um. <laughs> um. Wait, yeah. Wait, oh, oh, and then he. All, there's like so much stuff. And then I asked him to look at my back because I wanted to know is it loose skin or is it fat. He said it's a mix of both. He said it. it he said that he would recommend me getting lipo in it to like make it like look how I want it. He said it's never gonna be like super tight because I do have loose skin from like gaining weight from being pregnant. Even if you work out. I don't know. I don't know. We didn't talk about working out. I feel like you could get it. But anyways, he said he would recommend me getting lipo in my upper back to make it look better because he said there is fat that was left behind. Um, and they're making me pick up Percocet, Colace, Clyclobenzaprine. I think that's what they gave me for a car accident. Um, own and done and Zithromax. Um, the only one I know anything about is Percocet. Yeah, we, we know. Oh, the <laughs> other thing, I, I asked him about, because when I got my BBL, the, the lady I got my post-op massages from told me that you also needed to get them when you go to breast augmentation. So I asked him, is that true? Do I need to do that? And he said no. He said, if anyone said that to you, there's bullshit in you. The post op massages. Ah. He said that you it's that you don't need them for breast for breast augmentation. They took pictures. I already said that. They took pictures of my sad boobs. They asked if I wanted to be put on Instagram, but I said no. Cause they're sad. Like no. I said I would um like send them a picture like when they looked good, like how I wanted them. Yeah. Like, I'm, like, super excited for tomorrow, but I'm also, like, I can't wait till it's, like, they're, like, how I want them. You know? Yeah. Um, I feel like that's kind of everything for right now, and then if I think of more stuff, I'll tell you guys. Because it was honestly a lot. I can't, I can't get my boobs wet for two days, I think. So you basically can't shower? Yeah, she said for two days I have to give myself a bird bath. But then she said a after. Horse bath. Yeah, but she said after that that it's fine because this stuff is like waterproof or something. Mhm. Mm um. And then. Oh, it takes it just takes it like two days to. I guess so, like to be waterproof. <laughs> I don't know. I can't go to a pool or a beach or a hot tub for six weeks. I needed to drink some juice. And. I feel like I already said a lot. Yeah, you yeah. did. Hey guys, so it's 7.02 a.m. now and they texted me last night to be at the office at 8.45 instead of, um, I think it was 9.30. So, I'm getting, yeah. so I'm getting ready right now. And I picked up the medicine.
happened last night? Um, and I'm really excited. I'm very excited. Um, I'm so thirsty though, but I can't drink or eat anything. And I'm gonna wear, they said to wear like pajamas or something like that, like, I can like put in the or zip up in the front, but I didn't really have anything, it, and we didn't, we didn't want to go out again because we were just so tired, so I'm just gonna wear this like little zip up hoodie that I brought, and like some leggings, but I'll show you guys after. Oh, and I also, I couldn't find, just like last time, last time when I went to get my BBL, I don't know if they stopped making it or if it's just sold out because everyone buys it. We couldn't find the Dial Antibacterial Body Soap, so I used the hand soap again. I think it's the same, I don't know. I use that. Um, yeah. I might shower one more time. I don't know. Okay, so I decided to actually take a shower one more time. And there's two things that I don't think I said that I was thinking about in the shower. Um, first thing is Anyone that wants to see like before and after pictures, that will be on my site, which is um, down, down in my, my little bio thingy, um, and it's jessicamaggio.com. So I'm gonna have different, and I already have obviously stuff on there already, and then we have new stuff. Um, because obviously I can't really show that on YouTube. Um, and then the other thing is that I don't think I said that I thought was kind of cool. That you might be like, oh, whatever. But today is November 11th. So today is 11-11. And, and I knew my surgery was going to be today. And then when we got on the airplane yesterday... Our seats for me, Ryan, and Mason was 11D, 11E, 11F, and then we got off the plane. We went to um, the Alamo car rental place to get the car, and the guy says, pick any car you want in aisle 11, and then, and then, um, last night, we were getting, we were going up the elevator one last time um after we got food and like mason's milk and this lady gets in the elevator with us and we're on we're on floor six and this lady gets in the elevator and ryan's like what um what number or whatever do you want and she says 11. okay but that's the only thing else I have to say. I just showered again and I'm gonna get dressed. I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing and then we're gonna go. So I'm wearing these comfy leggings, this little top, and then this hoodie because it zips up in the front. Outfit. 
trying to trying to just Batman before we go. He doesn't want to. Mason, come here. Oh, I just realized. I have to go. We have to go. Yeah. So we're about to go. And I'll show my chub chub self. You're not in the <laughs> And um, I'm just bringing my phone, and they told me to bring my pills. I guess so they can make sure they're right or something. So they can count them, make sure that nobody's <laughs> taking any of them. Yeah, something. Um, I was gonna bring my purse, but then I decided not to because like the paper says don't bring any valuables. I took out all my jewelry, all my piercings, but then like this other lady told me I get my own room, so. I'm just gonna bring my phone and pills though. I know I got a pair of socks out now. Hey guys. Hey guys. I just got out of surgery. And so I got there and they took me back and um they like made me take my clothes off put the compression socks on and then i was they gave me like i think hydrating ivy because she said it was like gatorade and then i think i just chilled for like 30 minutes mm -hmm. and then the doctor came in and he said that he was thinking about it all night and he was asking me, because he, he said he was under the impression that I might want to go bigger. Mm -hmm. And I was like, no, like, I want to be big. So he said he thinks if we would have done the original plan, mm -hmm. like, the lift with the small implant and then come back in three months, that my boob would have healed. And it might have been harder to put in the, the actual the size one. I want. It might not have been, he might not have been able to fit it. So he said, if I'm definitely sure I want to go big, the best option would be to go big now. So he just put in the big implant that I wanted. I don't, I haven't seen what I look like yet. I'm going to look when we get to the hotel. So he put in the big implant that I want now. And then he said, when I come back in February to do the lift in the internal bra to like make it all perfect. And he said he thought that would be best, so I just wanted to do whatever he thought would make it look best. And this pain is like nothing like the BBL. Like the BBL, like I couldn't talk. I thought I was gonna throw up. Like I, I thought was, you would be shaking. She's not even shaking. I, I was shaky, like until they put when they put on my clothes on. I like I'm still a little cold, mm -hmm. but like this. This was like nothing. Like I just got out of surgery. But they're a lot. There, it was a lot nicer here too, though. Like they didn't even. I mean, they wheelchaired her and everything, but like it was. But like I feel, I feel like I feel sore, and my arms feel sore, and it feels a little tight. Yeah. But like I know my last surgery, I couldn't even talk. Like, yeah. I was gonna throw up. Like I feel, I feel fine. Yeah. I'm a little sore, but I feel okay. Um. But yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on what happened because that was kind of a change in the in the plan. Yeah, um, it was. She texted me it earlier. Yeah, because he came in and he was like, "I was really thinking about it all night." And if you're sure, he said he would he would be scared to think like if I just got it. And I was like, "Oh, I never come back." And I was like, "No, I'm coming back. Like I want them to be perfect." Yeah. So. Yeah. Just wanted to update you guys right. and show you something in a little bit, maybe. <laughs> I'm so happy that like I don't feel like trash like last time. Like oh, I, I'm glad too. Like it just feels sore. Like last time I was gonna throw up everywhere, couldn't talk. I remember. But like this, I feel fine. They look big. That's what I wanted. Say, baby. <laughs> and you know what he did say? What? First he said, he said, you know, like, I want to make sure if we're going to do this, you're coming back and get the lift because you don't want to have big, saggy boobs. Yeah. But then at the end he also said, what did he say? He said, I might end up loving them like this. 
Because he doesn't, like, you don't know exactly, like, how it's going to go. Because, like, yeah, my boobs are saggy, but they're also small. Right. And this could, like, fill it out. He said I might end up loving it, just how it is like this. And they would just refund me for the other stuff. So, I don't know yet. I feel like you're going to want the internal bra. I think so, too. But, again, like too. you said, we don't know yet. Yeah, I honestly think I am going to want the lift and the internal bra still. Just because, like, we paid for it. And also, I feel like it would give me more security. You know, they're not going to, like, drop so right. fast. But I was, that was just what he said, though. But I do think I'm probably going to come back. But, like, this is crazy. You want to know what was a little scary to me, though? Like, I wasn't really scared, but a little bit. So, when I got my BBL, I had gotten... I was in a different room, like, the same little room I was waiting in. And the anesthesiologist guy had given me my anesthesia in there. So, by the time they were walking me into the surgery room, I just remember, like, sitting on the bed and I was out. Right? Right? So I don't, I, and then I woke up. This time though, I was a little scared because they didn't give me the, they made me get naked, walk into the surgery room, or I walked into the surgery room, then got naked. They made me lay on the bed, and I'm staring at all these people, all the lights. The anesthesia is not in my body yet. While she's hooking me up to the anesthesia, the, these are tying me down. Oh. So that, that part was a little, like, different than my first experience that like i was i wasn't scared but i was just a little bit just a little bit more nervous than last time because i was already out before they did that stuff yeah and this time they're like bright lights i'm naked i'm shivering it's cold they're strapping my legs down like brought to my arms down like <laughs> that part got me a little bit but i was like it's gonna be okay and then i was out oh then you then you were just asleep yeah, but that part was a little different than, like, my first experience with surgery. Because I was, like, already sleepy walking into the surgery room last time. Yeah. This time, I was right away cold as fuck. But so, we're back in the hotel room now. And I just finished eating. They told me to eat light because I was probably going to be, like, nauseous and stuff. But I actually feel great. And I was starving, so I ate guacamole and chips and mac and cheese and what else did I eat? Hi, Ted. It's a pie. Hey guys, we're going to Target. This is a this is a different Target like that we've never seen before. We're like up high in a parking garage. To show them the view. We'll have to show you guys from where we're parked. I like where we're parked better. So we'll get that too. We never been to a target like this. Uh, yeah, this is totally... you, I think you're all the <coughs> Hey guys. So it's the day after surgery. Um, I think it's like 8 right now. And I have to... <laughs> have an appointment at 10 with the doctors to check everything out and yesterday i felt pretty good all day last night i kept waking up a lot it's like random pains and like just like random pains and yeah that's for your face both of them um so i kept breaking up with like random pains and I was never able to get my pain medicine because they're like sold out of it everywhere. So I brought Tylenol, but I didn't even take it. I like, I was just sleeping. I took, I think we took one of the muscle relaxers. Like they're just really sore, but like obviously like. But then I was gonna say, um, he never told me what size he was putting in. Cause I guess he wasn't like 100% yet. But this morning, I was brushing my teeth. Like, we're getting ready to go back to get breakfast and see him. And I found this card. And it's, like, um, an implant ID card. So, it says he put um, the mentor memory gel extra breast implant high profile, high profile extra. He put in my left breast 545 cc's. 
and in my right, 580 cc's. But it's like, because my left boob was, is always bigger anyways. So in case anyone wanted to know, that's what's in me right now. 545 and 580. But I feel pretty normal, it's like weird pains. But like, I'm able to do everything for myself, pretty much. Yeah. Maybe you want to say hi? You want food? So I just came back for my first post-op appointment and it went well. They said, you know, still, I should wear these till the end of the day, the compression socks. And um, he looked at them, he said they looked good. And then he also said that I guess my muscle is still like opening up or something where the implant is, so it needs to like expand more. So he said, I'm going to be, it's going to look 30 to 40% bigger, which I was like, oh, wow. Like, I mean, I'm happy. I'm really happy though. And I still feel like really good. Like I don't, like I feel totally normal. Like I didn't even have surgery. And this was, I mean, I only had one other surgery experience, but this was like by far the best one. Um, but I'm really happy. And today is the 12th november 12th we leave on november 18th which is like in a week like six days or something and that's a lot that's the only other time i see him is like that last checkup which is november 18th so we're gonna pretty much like have fun the rest of our trip and then on monday the 15th i'm gonna do my lips lip injections for the first time and then me and ryan are gonna get botox which we've both never done before so yeah so we can keep watching to see that guys you want to say hi? hi what you doing hi guys hi guys your toys your toys show them your toys your toys Peppa Pig. Dog. Dog. A clock. A clock. A clock. Oh, wait. I already said it, though. So when we come back to in February, he's going to do the lift. Hi, and I And put the it. internal bra when I come back. Jacket, Mommy. Well, well. Your cute jacket. Cute jacket. Oh, love. Wow, I love it. Mm. Bigger belly? Silly babe. <laughs> Those are pink rice. Those are french fries that they have. <laughs> Sorry, we'll try the burger. The Hans cheeseburger. Mm, cheeseburger. We're about to go on this like tall ass Ferris wheel thing. We did it! I feel like I'll look like you don't want to do that side. Wow, we're going up! He's waking up just in time. Yeah. Hi, baby! He's got like rice on his eye. Rice? Yeah. He didn't even eat rice. I got it off. Oh. 
We said lit. We're going up. Nice look. Wow. Look this way. Look this way. Ooh. This is cool. It's really like the first time in forever that I've been on a Ferris wheel. Is this a Ferris wheel? Hmm? Is this called a Ferris wheel? Yeah. Right? Look, baby. Look at mommy. Makes you like it. Two waters. We do the waters. Yeah, look the water. <laughs> We're flying like the bird. birds. Birds. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, we're flying. Mason, look at mommy. Show mommy your teeth. Show mommy your teeth. <laughs> so we went to Bayside Marketplace and it was okay. It was kind of fun. We got churros. We went on the sky view Ferris wheel thing. Mason got Spider Man poppets and SpongeBob stuff. And then we went to this Chick fil A like right outside of it because Mason was hungry. He didn't eat lunch with us really. Yeah. And we saw this guy that looked like he was like on heroin, like overdosing. So we called the police. And then Ryan went into Chick fil A to get Mason a kid meal. And they, they don't have kids' meals down here. Or at least at that Chick fil A. Yeah, they have no kids' meals. It was the weirdest thing I've ever ever seen. What did they say to you? She said, we don't have kids' meals. And I was like, what? And she was like, we don't have kids' meals. And I was like, all right, then. Let me get an eight-count nugget, then. Miss, do you want your chicken? Chicken meals. <laughs> no kid meals. Oh, wow. Oh. Be Antonio and Marsha or C, Brad and Angelina. Hi, Spider-Man. Oh. Say, I'm Spider-Man. Bye. Bye. You cutie. We're eating pie. I got some kind of cookie pie and it's the bomb. Miss, want to say hey? Hey, Spider-Man. You're Spider-Man. Oh, mommy, help. Help. Mommy, help. help. What's up, guys? It's Saturday now. Yup. 13th? I think today's the 14th. Man, oh, well, I'm probably wrong. Nope, you were right, the 13th. Today's November 13th. We're going to the zoo. We're at the, the zoo, Miami zoo. zoo. I think it's called Zoo Miami. Yeah, Zoo Miami. <laughs> and we're very excited. I mean, just the drive in is pretty. Like it's pretty. Palm trees all over. Give them a little. Give them a little bit. Show, 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 show what's up. Ooh, yeah. Look at all those palm trees and lion posters. And today, this morning, was the first time I could shower, and I had to. Um, I hurt a little bit like moving my arms like my left boot will hurt but I was able to shower today for the first time and then you have to use the hair dryer on cool to like dry your tape where your incisions are all the way it wasn't that bad though um but yeah we're at the zoo and I still feel fine for my surgery so it's going good very excited. We're super excited. I'm having a great time with my with my beautiful, amazing wife over here and that little nugget back there. But he's been giving us freaking, he's been saying ooh to us since we've been here. He's going. Yeah, I went to kiss him. Was it last? Yeah, last yeah. night. And he was like, ew, yuck. But then this morning he was like all over me. Yeah. His new thing is ew. Yeah. Ew, not, not yuck. I don't like it. For like food, anything. Anything. This is new, his new catchphrase. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
sometimes use pink birds? Look, I do. So, so many birds. Nice bird. <laughs> Look, he's gonna get daddy. Oh no. He's just eating popcorn. He's yeah. hungry, bird. We're at the zoo. I don't know what is this called. The uh, uh, tricycle, bicycle. We're on a big bicycle thing. Bicycle. Mister, like it? Like it. He likes it. Oh yeah. Do 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 your leg over, baby. There you go. Um, well, I like that you can be in the shape with us. Yeah, because we don't want to burn baby. Yeah. This is pretty cool, though. I've never been on one of these. Me either. Say hi. Hi. So we're at the zoo. We see all the animals. And Daddy's getting us a slushie. Oh, thank you, Daddy. You're already sweaty, babe. Sweaty. You're sweaty, babe. You're already so sweaty. Daddy's, Daddy's getting us ice cream drink. Slushies. <gasps> Yay. That would be so nice. Big elephants. Wow. Monkeys. A jungle. A jungle. A cat. A monkey. Yeah, monkey. Monkey. Hi. <gasps> He looks mad. Yeah, he's super fucking mad. Hello! Look! Look, honey! Where'd he go? Behind that wall. Is there another one or just him? There's no way it's just him. Yeah, he's being lonely. Look, Lucky! It's sticky! They say hi, monkey! No! <laughs> Oh my god, look. Mm -hmm. This one just chilling. Mason. Mason, huh? you see the sleeping monkey? He's just sleeping. Mason, you see him? See him? Oh. Uh, ass down, face up. <laughs> look, boom. Boom, mommy. You like that? Love, love, boom. I did. This Miami Zoo is really cool, guys. It is really cool. And this rental thing, because it's hot. Great decision. Mason, nice look. Mason, look. Look, baby. Don't look down. Wait, look. where do you see something? Oh! No! No, he's gone. No, he's gone. No, he's gone. Let's please get that. It's so funny. Mason, look. Mason, look. Hi. Hi. Miss Wave. Do you want to get out and say hi? Do you want me to get out and say hi? You want to get out with daddy and say hi? Here, come on. Let's go say hi. Can you see it? Come here. Hi, gorilla. Hi, 
Benson boy. Oh, I got it. <laughs> that was cute, baby. Mason got a reindeer cake off. We went shopping today at what was it called? Merrick Perk Shops, and now we're going to try out the Fresh Market. Yeah, it's like a it looks like it's a cute grocery store, but they have food. And I'm very excited. I'm so excited. And Mason. Some people don't think I'm excited. Some people think I'm putting on my fake excited face. <laughs> it's Monday now, and we are going to get Botox. Woohoo! First time ever. For both of us. And I'm gonna get my lips done. So we're very excited. Um, it's called, I found her on Instagram and I picked her just because I thought the lip she did looked really pretty. It's called Smith & Co. And I'm very excited. Me too. I'm ecstatic. Can't wait. And Mason's super excited too if you hear him. He's like, woo! <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, Ryan's gonna do his, um, forehead. his forehead. I'm gonna do my forehead because I have this one wrinkle line now. And where? <laughs> it's right there. You see the I line? See it. You look when I do I that. Yeah. And then I'm I gonna do. I have a huge wrinkle thing going. And I'm gonna do my lips, cream. and then I'm gonna see because ever since I got braces, I feel like I opened my mouth a lot like wider now. And I have like these little lines like here. So Gorgon see she says. Yeah. Yeah. You love kissing. I have numbing cream on my face. I have it on my forehead. And she has it all over her face. She looks hilarious. Hey guys, so we just finished. I got my forehead line Botox, and I think it was what I think it was two forty, two hundred and forty dollars for my forehead line Botox. And she said it takes a week to see results, and that uh, you could do it every three or four months. And then my smile lines really bother me. So I thought I was gonna do Botox, but she said no filler. So the filler I got in my smile lines is called Restaline and it was $600. And she said the results can last like up to a year. And then I did my lips and she used Juvederm and that was I think $750 and she said it could also last up to a year and they're supposed to be really swollen for a few days I feel like I look crazy they tell them about yours oh I got up here and they put like she put it right down like right here right here 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 and here and here and i feel like little pinches mm -hmm. well because of the numbing cream i'm sure it probably would have hurt more without that stuff but i mean it was like a little like a little baby pain hers probably was worse than mine but she said it's gonna last for like four like three to four months probably like three because i work out and she said that if you work out you yeah. get more wrinkles no that it just 
it's not going to last. It's, like, it's still going to last a long time. Oh, you're sweating but, out or something? But it's just, no, because you have a faster metabolism and everything when you're working out. So it's just, uh, yeah. Really? Yeah, really. You know, crazy stuff, right? Yeah. How do it looks like? Big. I don't like how they're... I feel like they're sticking out weird on the top, right? Or no? Um... No. Do you think it looks good? Yeah, I think it looks good. But, I mean, she said they're going to be big like that for... Like three days. Yeah, so... It's going to even itself out just and like your boobs. Said, you were all worried about those and they look great. Yeah. I think she said in a week too I have to do like some kind of lip massage. What? Just stick with my finger. Oh wow. Head north That's crazy. Because the one she used is like thicker than normal one. Uh -huh. I guess. She said it had a lot of lip tissue I think. Ooh. I feel like my forehead already looks amazing. What do you think? Yeah. I think your Wait, forehead. Do you want to do your smile thing? What did she say? Next time or, or to this time? She said. Are you just recording? Yeah, I just wanted to look at them. So we just went to this um, comic book store and we got some cool stuff. Mason, show them, show everyone what you got. Yes, mommy. You got a blue Spider-Man toy. Show them. Show it. You got a cool Spider-Man toy. It's called the Goblin's Heist. This comic book store. Goblin's Heist in Miami. So let's show them what we got really fast. Let's turn on this AC. I'm very excited about what I got. I got two really cool, I got two really cool um, Funko Pops. She got a little Harley Quinn. And then Mason picked this one out, but I'm gonna keep it. It's the Joker Batman. He's painted up. Oh, he's painted up. It says ha ha and stuff on him. So it's pretty cool, pretty neat. And then show them the best thing you got. Wait, and I got a Venom comic. I saw this last Funko Pop before when we were checking out. It's so cute. Mickey Mouse and Friends. It's Louie. I think that's one of Donald's kids. He's so cute. He is super cute. He was pricey. And he was $50. But I love them. He's so cute. Yeah. You want me to do this? How far is it from here? Milk. Drink it. Drink the milk. Is it yummy? Drink it the milk. Drink it the milk. He's drinking the milk. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. What did you do today? Today. Very fine. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. Got a tooth, Mommy. Your tooth? Ah, tooth. Ooh, nice teeth. Nice teeth. Are you hiding? Um, I want that bell. Hey, guys. We're hey in North Miami, yeah. and we're about to check out the Super Anime Store. <laughs> and our nugget just woke up. We're going to check it out. Wait, we're at Toy Store. Ready? Oh. And my lips are like... Looking ducky. 
Yeah. She, she uh, said she though, came to kiss me. She came to kiss me earlier. She goes quack quack. And I'm like, how can I kiss that? That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> the lady said they're gonna be pretty swollen though. For a few days. So we went to the super anime store and they didn't really have anything. Like it looked cooler online than actually in the store. Yeah, it did. So we took, so we went to Alaska Roasting. Yeah. Like a coffee place, but they had the best food that we've eaten so far. And that, and then we took Mason toy shopping at Five Below. And he loved it. He loved it, he got so many toys. And now I think we're gonna go to this place in Miramar mm -hmm. called Monster Mini Golf. It looks really cool, it looks like it's, um like glow in the dark mini golf and it'll be the first time that we take mason so we don't know how he'll do with that my lips look like they're they're bruising and i can tell now when i smile like all the little lines i had from doing the rest of the filler they're gone I had like a bunch like You got Spider-Man. Spider Baby, anything you want to tell them? Um, I like this side of town better than the south side of town. Yeah, we're I in like North, North Miami. Miami. It's a lot more like a normal, normal. life. Yeah. Which we're a fan of. What did you drop? Drop for Spider-Man. You did? Mason, say hey. Hey guys. Say hey guys. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, dude. Don't worry. I got you guys. Quack, quack, quack. Alright, man. Well, again, thank you. I would. I will. Alright, man. Yes, sir. We're at Denny's right now, and Denny's. they literally have nothing. They didn't have soda. They, I got the last piece of cheese. What? Wait, what? There is something else you asked for too. They didn't have. I don't know. They have like nothing. Though. Oh, they only had sweet tea, or they only had. <gasps> oh, excuse me, that's sweet tea. But I think that's just like a Miami thing. I don't think they have sweet tea here. It's crazy. But let me see, they didn't have, um, what was it? They didn't have any cheese, they had no, no sodas, drinks. except for Diet Coke. They have water. 
Yep. All right, go. No juice. juice in it. No. no oh, that's right. No juice. Lemonade. No juice. Um. Only have bread and bacon. Yeah. Pretty much. And hash browns. Yeah. It's a, no it's a chicken. Of, oh yeah, that's right. No chicken. That's what it was. Yeah. It's crazy. I look gross. No, she doesn't. She looks amazing. I know a lot of the dudes probably that watch this are like, I don't know how she's with this guy. I don't either. Man, too spicy. Can you show them your boobs? What was that? <laughs> we checked out Dolphin Mall. Mason got this cool Spider-Man backpack. And Daddy got a massage. And it was pretty cool mall. They had a lot of cool stuff. But I wanted to leave because... There's so many strong perfume scents and I got a really bad headache. <laughs> so I just had my last appointment and they took my stitches out and nice. they showed me how to do this boob massage. I'm gonna show you how to do it too. And it's gonna help drop the implant more and like stretch, it's gonna help stretch the muscle more. And they said to do it for 10 minutes, two to three times a day. Um, so I did that. And then I, okay, and then I, I bought another bra just so I have one and I like the one they had. It was like $57. Okay. And then I, told the doctor about the situation about the dates my she said like the coroner told her told us that our dates might be different for the other one and he was like no like you can go talk to her like we'll make it work so i went in there into her office and she said that she like moved someone else like our dates are still the same okay so we come back february 3rd the next surgery is february 4th and I told them that I didn't want to do the brow lift next time. Like, I'm going to think about it. Uh-huh. So. They took that off? Yeah, they took that off. Good. And so, everything looks good, he said. And he said, if I did want to go a little bigger, when I come back, we can. Good. Um, and, yeah. And everything was good. Oh, yeah. And so, this is, like, the end of part one surgery vlog. And we're gonna finish the surgery in February. This is gonna be a, I'm gonna call the video part two. Part two. And then if you wanna see, um, Mace, shh. if you wanna see the like better pictures of like my before and afters on my boob job journey, I'll have that on my OnlyFans. And that's like in my bio, chescamaggio.com. So you can keep up with the journey. Yeah. But we'll see you back for part two in February. Yeah. But thanks for coming in, guys. Yeah. So my, We've had a lot of fun, guys. The, the first part of the boob journey. Yeah. I was kind of sad, though, when I was, like, looking in the mirror waiting uh -huh. to see that, like, my boobs stick out more than my butt. Like, I want a bigger butt. Yeah. Okay. We'll I feel like my butt looks eventually. like a tiny baby butt now no, compared to my boobs. No, it doesn't. Mister, are you excited to go on the airplane? Did you guys get food? Yeah, we got Burger oh, King. Bye. Bye, guys.